This is the content gauge component. It can be found under the Rhino tab in the content section. It has three inputs, name, content and action, and three outputs, name, content and result. Name will be the name of your cage, content is for the data that you want to store in the cage, and action determines how your content cage component is going to operate. The content cage can be modified to have a button instead of continuous action input. You can have the button to push content, pull content, purge content, and bake content. Here is an example of a script using the content cage component. I have created and internalized some geometry inside this container. Now I can use this cage to push the content into a cage named cage1. Now the geometry is baked into the container. Now I have applied a move transform to the original geometry to move it by a thousand millimeters. And this content I am going to store in a cage 2. I can push it into this container. Then I can use the cage 2 name to pull the content into this cage. From here I can move the geometry again by a thousand millimeters and use this cage to push the content. Now if I were to move this piece, nothing in the last cage would be changed until I would push the content. I can use the content cage to purge content. See it disappears. Or I can use it to bake content. The baked content can no longer be purged by this component.